Just another recap Monday. Hydration is key. Because I'm extra in Mexiquito recipes. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. I mean, it's not the end of the world. Thanks, Vegas. Hola familia, busy mommy here. And I am here to, I guess, Apologize for missing last week. I'll give you a little insights into that. We're in week seven and eight now. Recaps all together as one. So I actually um, was in Vegas for NADA. I don't know if any of you are dealers or work with dealers or work in automotive. I happen to work in automotive and so I got the opportunity to represent my business and my company um, that I work for. Not my business and my company, but the company that I work for um, at NADA. DA and it was really awesome. Maybe we can insert my awesome headshot that I took there because it was amazing. If we do, it would go here. Okay, you got to see it. <laughs> it was great. Uh, this year actually it was in Vegas and I worked all week and then left Thursday and worked all through the weekend. Came back Sunday at like 11 o'clock at night and then went back to work Monday. So I've literally been nonstop until really today when I got to just kind of be relaxed this week, moving into the end of week eight. And I am still catching up. It is really hard. And that's, I think, one of the things that I want to tell you guys is when you're on vacation or when you're on a trip, it's really difficult to keep on track, you know, one of the things is, is when you're with a huge group and when I'm at a conference, for example, we were there from 7.30 in the morning and then we were working until 11 o'clock at night. So there really isn't an opportunity for you to like prepare and carry all these things with you, especially because what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Not gonna lie, I did have a drink or two. One or two might not have been keto friendly, but you know, when in Vegas. Um, <laughs> but one of the things that I wanna say that I truly did focus on on this trip was hydration. I don't know how else to explain to you guys how important, importante, Spanish word of the day for this video, important, importante. La agua es super importante para ustedes and it's so, so, so important because hydration makes just the total difference between you having a crappy day and a good day. Sometimes when you feel like you're hungry, it's not that you're hungry, it's that you're dehydrated. And the thing that you have to realize is that at times you will feel thirsty and by the time you feel thirsty, you're already at that level and you need to make sure that you're continuously hydrating. I, in one day, filled up this bottle, which is 750 milliliters, like maybe 15 times. It was just nonstop. And the thing is, is I didn't really have to use the bathroom that much. And I think it's probably because I was walking around a lot, burning a lot of it, but also, you know, we were in Vegas, very dry. So you gotta make sure that you stay hydrated. But I had all these, now you're wondering, you know, here this cool little, um, my name. I actually printed out, cause I'm extra. You guys know this by now, right? You've seen all my videos. Um, I did that for all the girls. Some of the guys were a little jealous though. I'm not gonna lie. Hydration is key. Um, so that's one of the things that I really want to bring to you guys this week. It was a long week. It was very full. I tried very hard, or I did, to read everything that I was putting into my body. Um, we, you know, most of the time with conferences like that, they'll have food catered in for you, right? And so we had like sandwiches brought in and salads and such. But when you're working such a long day, a salad just isn't gonna get you there. So half the time I was, you know, taking the sandwiches, taking the bread off, eating the insides. At one point I did end up having half a croissant. I was like, you know what, whatever, it's fine. Honestly, the way I see it, it, and the way I've said it many times when it comes to this journey that I'm on. Now you can do whatever journey you want and however you want to do it and I will support you 110%. But I can tell you the journey that I'm on is to not feel bad about anything, to make sure that I'm not dissing myself for falling off the wagon or making myself feel bad because you know what, I'm done. I'm literally done with making myself feel bad or others feel bad for doing what's best for you and whatever's best for you is what matters. Now, when I came back, I weighed myself. I gained a pound. I mean, it's not the end of the world. Also, it could be water weight, could be whatever. It doesn't really matter. I've lost another three pounds, so I'm officially down 20 pounds in the last eight weeks, which is great. It's fantastic. I'm not gonna continue to lose as fast as I did the first time. It's just gonna continue to be that way. Um, it's really exciting because I've had a lot of you guys reach out to me about like how keto has helped you, how my Mexiquito recipes are helping you. I'm super excited to build these Mexiquito recipes for you. It's so much fun. and. I'm 
honestly, eating better doesn't have to be bad. And that's one of the things that I, you know, especially in, in the Latin culture, it's really difficult to change the way you're eating or eat a different way because a lot of times, and you know, my family's very supportive, but I've seen this over the years, like, ah, but why are you doing that? Just eat this, it'll be fine. And it's like, because I want to, because I want to be better and I want to eat this way. So I'm going to continue to do that. I'm actually going to be testing out some keto recipes with like tamales. Me quiero tamales. Can you believe that? It's going to happen. I'm going to make it happen. I promise you. Um, my friend Allison is actually going to come over and make those with me. So I'm really excited. We're going to make traditional and then we'll make her version um, or our keto version of those, which I'm really excited about. But really just these next, these last two weeks, the things that I learned are a few things. One, hydration is key staying active is key I don't even know how many steps or miles I walked because I was continuously walking the entire time we like you know wouldn't go bed till go to bed till like midnight or one in the morning wake up at seven or wake up at six to get ready to leave by seven so it's just it was just a continuous cycle lack of sleep so you need to make sure that you're hydrated I also didn't really drink that much because even though I was in Vegas one I'm exhausted I don't need that and maybe I'm just too old for that now um, and I just can't hang like I used to I did lose sixty dollars so thanks Vegas I was hoping to spend 60 and come back with like 500 is that not how it works no okay well for next month moving into March it's um, this is the last month of February so next week will be my final week weighing in um, I've decided that for the month of March I'm not gonna weigh in so I know every video is gonna be a little different I typically put the weight that I lose in these weekly check-ins what I'm gonna do instead is either do my inches that I've lost or some sort of non-scale victory because here's the thing, I find that if I weigh myself, well I was weighing myself every day and that just wasn't good because one day you'll be higher, one day you'll be lower, it just alternates and it, it really does affect your mood and I feel like a lot of times we let that affect our mood and we can't do that. So, that being said, I'm not gonna weigh myself. I am going to give you a final weight at my end of my 90 days of the official weight loss that I got for the 90 days. This challenge is going to continue for me. So after the 90 days, we'll go to month to month and we'll do different themes for each month. And I look to you guys for ideas on what kind of themes you guys want. I am going to start an accountability group on Facebook. I think that's going to help everyone out a lot. But you know what? It's, it's not so much about how you do it. It's really just about like you making that change for you and you doing whatever steps that you need to make yourself feel better. If that's, I'm gonna drink water. If that's, you know what, I'm just gonna fast. Do whatever works for you and wherever you are in your journey, I will support you because that's the most important part that I can probably bring to all of you is it doesn't matter. Don't feel bad, don't look down on yourself. All you can do is get up, and continue going. A lot of times we get in these cycles where it's like, oh, I went to Vegas and I ate this, so I'm gonna just continue to eat this. And it's like, you know what? It doesn't make me feel good. When I eat bad, I don't feel well. And so I know that that's my body telling me like, hey, it's probably not great for you. Did it taste good in the moment? Yeah. Did it make me feel super sick the rest of the night? Yeah, so not doing that again. But that's the thing that like, you know your body, you know yourself. And so I'm gonna say, those are my two key takeaways, right? hydration and know yourself and know where you can be and where you can go that being said talking about next month March is gonna be all about non-scale victories so I'm gonna be looking at you guys to be sending me your non-scale victories anything that you're really excited about um, I am super excited about this journey that I'm on that I've continued to be on so I look forward to spending that with you guys I'm gonna ask as usual for you to like subscribe and comment below how much water do you drink in a day it is a recap Monday I'm sorry I missed last week but you get two weeks in one and I look forward to making more recipes for you guys this week I'm really excited because actually my little brother texted me saying he wants to start eating healthy and uh, wants to meal prep with me and by meal prep with me he means I'll send you money you buy the stuff and you meal prep but I'll eat it so whatever I can do to help I'm gonna continue to do that we're gonna do some really awesome stuff this week I'm gonna do some jalapeno popper burgers I'm gonna do some poblano pepper zucchini noodles I'm gonna do um, some stuffed peppers I'm really excited um, so you guys will see those videos as they come out obviously we film I try to film three or four um, recipes a week so that we can have them to push out to you guys just want to tell you that I love and appreciate all of you stay hydrated if you have a cricket make yourself a cool bottle
makes you want to drink more water. Um, and then that's it. Just continue to be amazing. Like, subscribe, and comment. Watch the videos, please. And let me know what kind of videos you want to see moving forward. I think I'm going to start doing some more of these type of journal, vlog, whatever they call these. I don't know. Um, videos, I might do, you know, the recap and then maybe another one just talking about, you know, anything. So maybe a live, a YouTube live. Would you watch that? Would you join? Would you chat with me? I look forward to continuously um, being around for you guys and being here with you. And as always, peace, love, and keto, and sending you all the love and support. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Bye. Stay hydrated. Man, that was really thirsty. That means I was dehydrated already. Not getting enough water. You're so cute. All right. <laughs>